Welcome back to Ultimate Movie Recaps. Thanks for supporting us. Today I am showing a 2017 American sci-fi horror film titled Five-Headed Shark Attack. Watch out for the spoilers, just enjoy and take care. As the movie starts, we are shown the scene of an island located in Puerto Rico. Further, we also see a yacht on which a photographer was taking photos of some models, but at the same time, we also see a shark wandering under the water. Suddenly a four-headed shark attacks that shark and kills it. Later a model notices blood in the water and tells everyone about it, after which they see the tail part of the shark. The photographer believes it to be a shark and begins to take the photos, but the shark charges towards the yacht and kills all of them at once in one blow. Later the scene shifts to the police headquarters where Officer Sterling talks about the same incident on the walkie-talkie. After that, he takes his deputy Julia to check that place, but both of them do not see anything there, but only find a camera from there. After that Sterling checks the photo in the camera in which they see a four-headed shark and after seeing it both of them get very surprised. Now in the next scene, Sterling and Julia meet Dr. Angie, a marine biologist, then Sterling shows her the photo of a four-headed shark and asks if there can be such a shark in reality, but at that very movement, an aquarium owner Thaddeus comes there and says the existence of a such type of sharks is not possible but informs them that the picture has been photoshopped. Later, Dr. Angie also assures them, and both officers leave from there. Now in the next scene, we see Dr. Angie with her four interns in a boat where Thaddeus tells them about his plan. He wants to keep that four-headed shark in his aquarium because it gets very few visitors. If the shark is kept in one of his aquariums many people will come to see the four-headed shark and in this way, his aquarium makes a good profit. Later all of them sit in the boat and move out. After reaching the middle of the sea after some time, they start throwing the fish's blood into the waters and start keeping an eye on the camera placed under the boat. After sensing the smell of fish blood, that shark comes there and breaks the camera installed under the boat. At the same time, it suddenly attacks Sean, takes him into the water, and devours him. All the people present on the boat get very scared, but at the same time, both the officers also come to the boat. All the people present on the boat tell Sterling about Sean's death. Later Sterling shows the photo of the four-headed shark to them and starts asking about it, to which they agree that it is the same shark. Now, with this information Sterling and Julia start talking about the case and decide to close the beach. In the next scene, we see the same shark roaming in the sea, but in the meantime, a fisherman heads into the sea to catch fish. The shark overturns the boat and devours the fisherman. Now on the next day, we see Thaddeus and Dr. Angie again requesting their interns to capture that shark, initially they do not comply with them. But finally agree to their request, after some time they all reach the dock where they meet a shark hunter named Red, who was summoned by Dr. Angie. Actually Red happens to be her boyfriend. They all board their boat and set sail into the sea. Later, we see a coral research team in the sea examining the corals, but one of the team members drifts away from the group while investigating. Suddenly we see the four-headed shark that attacks and eats him. While on the other hand, we see Ram and Kate who are aware of the consequences of this dangerous act but still they are accompanying the group for the sake of Sean. Now in the next scene, we see another boat on which some people have come for enjoyment. They see a whale in the waves, after which they all start taking pictures of the whale but suddenly the four-headed shark comes there and attacks the whale and kills it. Everyone gets very scared after seeing the aggressive shark, immediately the guide of the boat quickly informs the police about the incident. Red also listens to the SOS call intended for the police. So he immediately starts heading towards the shark, but the shark also starts moving towards the boat in which tourists were present, sensing danger the guide immediately rushes the boat towards the dock with everyone on board. Then after some time Sterling also comes there with his two officers, the guide quickly takes everyone off the boat, and just then one officer starts shooting the shark after seeing it, but shark attacks the officer and kills him. Later, the shark heads towards the yacht of Red, but they are completely ready as they want to put a tracker on the shark, so as soon as the shark comes out of the water, Red puts a tracker on it, but at that very moment the shark attacks Lindsay and takes her into the water to devour her. Now everyone becomes very sad because of her death. Suddenly we notice the shark's tail turning into its mouth, due to which it now becomes a five-headed shark. Now in the next scene, we see all of them reaching the aquarium and Sterling also accompanying them. But Ram gets very angry with Thaddeus because many people have died because of him, after that he goes angrily to confront him but Red stops him from doing so. On the other hand, we notice a surfing competition being held at that place, unfortunately, that shark attacks the people by beheading them and starts eating them, seeing this all the people start running away from there. As soon as Sterling comes to know about the shark's attack, he immediately joins everyone and reaches the beach where he learns that the shark has already eaten five people and injured many people. Seeing all this, Dr. Angie gets very angry and decides to kill that shark, 
after which she informs everyone that sharks get attracted due to the sound of dolphins, so she makes a plan to attract the shark to a place by the sound of dolphins with the help of a speaker and killing it with dynamite. Then they all go to the dock and execute their final plan, now they possess three speakers, using which they can summon shark towards them. Later Sterling and Julia go on the police boat behind Red's yacht and after going for some distance, he separates from them so that he can install the speaker. Thaddeus apologizes to everyone and tells them that he did all this to save the aquarium. After this, Dr. Angie drops the speaker into the water but after hearing the speaker's voice, Shark goes in the wrong direction. It travels to Sterling's boat, but because of the tracker, Sterling is aware that the shark is approaching him, but he suddenly stops receiving the shark's signal because the shark is hiding under his boat. Now Julia was trying to find the shark in the water but at the same time Shark gives a big blow to the boat due to which Julia loses her balance and falls into the water. After that Shark attacks and kills her. After noticing Julia in danger, Sterling shoots the shark, but to no avail. Now after eating Julia, the shark quickly moves towards Sterling and breaks his boat's propellers, causing his boat to stop there. Now that Sterling has relayed this information to Red via radio, the latter instructs Sterling to throw the blood of the fish towards his ship. Now the shark heads towards Red's yacht, seeing the shark charging towards his yacht, Red informs everyone to get ready, but the tracker attached to the shark pulls away, due to which they all think that the shark has stopped there. Then they go to that place and throw the bait in which dynamite was present and wait for some time for the shark. After some time the five-headed shark comes there and when it was about to eat the bait, another normal shark eats the bait. Now all of them think the five-headed shark has eaten the bait, due to which Red presses the button on the remote and there is a huge blast, due to which the shark breaks into pieces. They become very thrilled but their happiness does not last long, then we notice the five-headed shark eating the pieces of the dead shark. Later. It moves towards Red's yacht and destroys its propellers, rendering it immobile. Red tells Sterling everything over radio, Sterling replies, okay don't worry, I'll call a police helicopter for help. Shark charges again at Red's yacht, knocks it hard, causing Kate to lose her balance, and she falls into the water. On seeing this, Ram also jumps into the water to save her. Both of them start moving towards the yacht but the shark also follows them and within no time it comes very close to them, seeing this, Thaddeus throws a harpoon at the shark and the shark goes away from there. By mistake, the rope attached to the harpoon traps Thaddeus' feet and takes him into the water, but the shark was already waiting for him in the water. She eats him after attacking him. Now everyone becomes afraid and thinks their number will be the next. Later Red gives guns to everyone and says that if we have to die, we will die fighting, and then the shark starts coming again to attack the yacht. Seeing this, Red asks everyone to shoot due to which the shark becomes distracted and goes in the other direction. Later, they observe the arrival of their rescue police helicopter. As the helicopter was approaching them, suddenly the shark jumps and pulls the helicopter into the water. Again the shark starts to attack them, then Red collects the dynamite and attaches it to the hook and asks Ram to throw the net into the water from the other side. As the shark comes toward the net, Red jumps into the water and places the hook on the shark. This makes the shark to move away from the yacht, but a huge explosion occurs and everyone thinks that Red may be killed. Meanwhile Red comes onto the yacht from behind. And everyone becomes very happy after seeing him. Later, he hugs Angie and asks her, will you marry me? She agrees to marry as they like each other. This marks the end of the movie. Thanks for watching.